Hey dudes, Action Figure Junkie back with you with another custom action figure made from Marauder Task Force parts and accessories with a touch of Hasbro thrown in for good measure. This being a representation of a classic figure, this was my very last OG 13 to get. This is the Tank Driver Stealer. So uh, this was my last OG 13 to make. Now I have a Marauder, Marauder Task Force updated version of every OG 13 figure made. So this is my uh, representation of Steeler. So as you see, I went with the black pants and green shirt, similar to the original Steeler. Uh, I traded out the green gloves for some tan gloves because Steeler's gloves were tan. He has the uh, shoulder holster with a pistol like the original Steeler. He has the Uzi, sidearm pistol, uh, and the knife. I think I went as pretty close to the original Steeler as I can get. One thing I did not do is do that funny um, helmet with that giant virtual reality visor from 1992. I decided to uh, go with a little, something a little bit more modern and updated. That visor might have been cool in 1982 when it looked futuristic, but at this point it looks like he's ready to be on the you know set of Lawnmower Man with Pierce Brosnan. Boy, that movie was awful. Anyway, I digress. So I went with something that's a bit more modern and updated. It does give him the cool night vision. Those are standard issue uh, night vision helmet with goggles and a, and a mic on it. So it's very um, modern and current. But it still has that Steeler feel because he's got the cool eye vision goggles. That was my thing with Steeler is he always had those... You know, you think of Steeler, you think of the cool... Uh, those cool that cool visor but I just I can't do that visor on a figure I make in 2017 no offense to the to the uh, to the OG that's the way it should look I loved him back then I love him now but when I'm trying to go modern I'm going modern so I actually used a Steeler head this is the Steeler this is the Hasbro head that steel uh, Steeler head that Hasbro put out recently on their most recent Steeler figure so that was a good find once I got that head, I was like, okay, this is it. And I got this helmet, I was like, now, all you need is a tank. I don't have a tank. Someday, someday soon, I'll get a tank. So that's him, Steeler's pretty simple. I mean, he was a vehicle pilot, and a lot of the Joe's ve original Joe's vehicle pilots weren't really very complex figures, as I'm sure you remember. They were basically pretty simple, but effective. So I got a green torso, black legs, no armor on the legs because it just didn't seem right. He's got to have the legs with no armor. And uh, the brown gloves and I get my Steeler. Of course he had an Uzi. He was uh, second only to Snake Eyes in his love for Uzis. So if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. Any comments, let me know. I do appreciate you watching the videos. Please feel free to check out my Insta Instagram account, at Action Figure Junkie. Um, check me out on Facebook. It's shameless plug time. I haven't done that for a while. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for asking me to do more videos. The love I got recently uh, at social media saying, where are your videos? Um, damn, I was pretty surprised. I didn't know anybody was watching them. Now it's really cool to know that you guys are. And hope you enjoy these. Happy New Year. If, I haven't, if you haven't heard me say it yet, hopefully uh, I'll have this one up before uh, March. And as always... In parting, which does he do? Which does he do? Oh yeah. Uh, 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 uh.